This is a great honor that we have invited the dear most friend of my spiritual master, Bhaktivedanta, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. The dear most friend to have honored London and spoken in the hall that my Ashira Prabhupada came to speak in. This was his favorite hall. And a very similar thing happened when he came to speak here for the first time. Aviasa Sam failed to arrive. <laughs> And we erected a table. And for, so many devotees were there? There were, devo th there were not as many, not as many, but there were some. And we erected a table for Srila Prabhupada to sit on. And he rejected the table and sat on the floor <laughs> like Srila <laughs> a very new devotee and everything was in great I was in great awe of my spiritual master and I was always concentrating to look the part rather than take in what he was actually saying. So I do know I do remember he lectured on on um, the, the uh, easy journey to other planets and the nectar of instruction and there was a course of lectures throughout the summer. He'd arrive in the spring and he loved coming here. Even though sometimes there was only, on one particular occasion, there was only one or two people in the audience and we were extremely embarrassed. And I mean, we remember saying to, to, to Swamiji, we remember saying, you know, we, we were very sorry that there was nobody there. And he said, oh, nobody there? Did you not see Narada Muni, Lord Brahma? They were all here. <laughs> and this particular auditorium has one of the nicest acoustics in, in London. I didn't know that. I was wondering why when Srila Prabhupada sang, it sounded like there were a hundred of Srila Prabhupada's. And it is a great honor that we have invited today to speak in London for the first time 
Bhaktivedanta, Srila Bhaktivedanta Narayan Maharaj to a place that was very dear to Srila Prabhupada. He loved coming here and it was his first place that he spoke in London to an audience. And it is very fitting that all these years later, nobody has used this hall since as the sadhu, since um, our Swamiji, our, my spiritual master has left and, he, and now his dear most friend has come. And I'd like to take this opportunity from all of us to thank you. I know how difficult it has been for, for Arshil Narayan Maharaj or Gurudev to, to come here today to, at the end of the tour. And I know that Srila Prabhupada is with us tonight. And I know he's in great jubilation because he's made him sit on the floor. And, but, but more than that, more than that, that people like myself who became very dried because we never had the sadhu sang that we needed since us, since my spiritual master had left, that the jubilation is that we are now getting it due to the mercy of our Shira Gurudev. And this is where it all lies. And this preaching, as it started in London, in England, here in this hall, it is now wonderful that our Shira Gurudev is coming and taking us deeper and deeper and resurrecting our lives and watering our Bhakti Kripa and taking especially Prabhupada's disciples to his lotus feet and offering, purifying our hearts and making them very soft and offering them back to his lotus feet. Thank you. Taksu Militam Yena Tasmai Sri Ravi. So, Gurudev had re explain the words of Astasaki Didi. She said that our Srila Prabhupada, Nichali Vishnu Om Vishnu Pad, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, came to London. So many years ago, I believe it was 1970, and he himself, because there was no Vyasasana, also sat on the floor, and he spoke many wonderful. He spoke many wonderful subjects of Krishna consciousness from Bhagavad Gita and other shastras. However, since our left this world, our Bhakti Kripa had dried up from not having the water of Sadhu Sangha and pure Harikata. So now our Srila Prabhupada has sent his very best friend, Om Vishnupad Astotra Sada Sri Srimad Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Gosai Maharaj to continue what he would have wanted to say to us at this time and to water our bhakti creepers and give us new life in Krishna consciousness.
दोनों मई जी तो पार्टिकुलर यू आर नॉट कॉल यू आर डॉ रियली दो थिंग दैट बी आर कॉल दैट अपोजिट टू दैट बी ओ जी speaking, but in comparison to uh, Gurudev and all of his special devotees and disciples, I feel uh, very inadequate to say anything of any meaning. Uh, the two words... Uh, the two words that I have to say really are thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I've known many people in my life. Uh, I know a great many people here. And I have to say that I've never had a relationship with anybody who has made me feel so loved and accepted, so much affection and protection and guidance despite the fact of uh, my innumerable uh, bad qualities. I think you must all feel the same way to some extent and that's why you're here. So Jai Guru Dave, two words and thank you very much. Om Jnana Timirandasya Jnananjana Shalakaya Chakshu Nirtam Jinam Tasma Shri Guru 
So before speaking first, I'd like to offer my most respectful obeisances thousands and thousands of times onto the lotus feet of my divine Diksha Guru, Nityalila Pavishnu and Vishnu Padasto Tarasata Shishma, Srila Gorgavan Goswami Maharaj. Similarly, I'd like to offer my most respectful obeisances thousands and thousands of times again onto the lotus feet of my divine Shiksha and Sanyas Guru, Om Vishnu Pad, Asto Tarasata Shishma, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. And similarly, my most respectful obeisances innumerable times on the lotus feet of my Param Gurus. Nityali La Parishtam Vishnu Padasto Tura Satashish Machala Esi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Shilakupad and Nityali La Parishtam Vishnu Padasto Tura Satashish Machala Bhakti Pagan Kesha Gosumaraj and all the summer Vaishnavas, Vaishnavas and guests. So, just very briefly, um, Shil Narayan Maharaj has asked me to speak on the purpose of our gathering here today. Just for the last five, six days, we've been in Birmingham. And Srila Narayan Maharaj, he has led um, the most wonderful discourses on discussion of Krishna, his pastimes in Vrindavan, and his pastimes in Dwarka. And these discussions, when spoken by realized souls, as we've had the very good fortune to hear over the last week, these are the real remedy for all problems in the world. Just driving into London, um, we feel the energy in the big metropolis and people are swarming like bees after their different types of sense gratification. But actually, it is just like a hell. The place is just like a hell. And the people, they have no good fortune. But what is their good fortune? If one comes in contact with sadhu, real sadhu, then for them the good fortune arises. So many people, they're performing so many activities, they're even performing so much philanthropic work. But all of this ultimately is not going to get them any benefit and though they may go to heavenly planets or achieve some temporary good fortune for it, but then again they have to come down and, and suffer. Um, the results of being entrapped in this material existence. But how good fortune arises? Bhaktis to Bhagavad Bhakta Sangela Parijayate. Satsanga Prapte Pumbi Supriti Puvasanjatai. That only by achieving bhakti. And how bhakti comes? Bhakti comes by association with satsang, with a pure devotee. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Lord Kupiladev, he is mentioned to his. Um, explain to his mother. Satam prasangam mama veya samvido, babati ritana rasaya nakata, tadjoshanat ashu apavava batmani, shadha rati bhakti anukramisiti. That satam prasangam, that one who is very fortunate, then they're able to get prasangam, very intimate association with a sadhu. One who is on the transcendental platform beyond the three modes of material nature. Satam prasangam, mama vir samvidam. And that sangha is very, very powerful. We see so much energy is being pumped into London and the big major metropolises around the world. But here we have in our midst an elderly gentleman in his 80s traveling around and apparently um, dependent on so many facilities. But actually, according to Lord Kapiladev, Satam Prasangam Mama Virya Samvido, that actually his potency is thousands and thousands and thousands of times more powerful 
than all these metropolises put together. Though so much energy, so millions and millions of pounds are being utilized for the enjoyment, but still, in our midst, is a personality who can change the whole situation. So, Satam Pasangam Mamabir Samido, Babanti Rikan Rasai Nakata. And how does he change? By very, um, by a display of great mystic power or potency? No. It says, by um, Rasayana Kata, by very, very sweet Hari Kata. Um, that sweet Hari Kata, which goes into the heart and it melts the heart of even one who is very stone like. But that sweet Hari Kata also is imbued with great, great potency. So, the whole purpose of personalities like Srila Bhakti Vedantan Ryan Maharaj and also our Param Gurudev, Nitalila Pavishnam Vishnu Padas Dr. Satashishima, Srila A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, is in traversing the world is to give this sweet Harikata and to make people in this material world who are unfortunate to make them fortunate. Actually, everyone in this material world without Sadhu Sangha is most unfortunate. Because without that Sadhu Sangha, then one has to keep on going within the cycle of birth and death again and again and again and again. And they have to keep on chewing the chewed. Many times, Srila Maharaj gives the example of um, a dog. And the dog had a dry bone. And the dog was chewing on this bone and chewing and chewing. And then some other dogs, they just pounced on this one dog and just started eating at him and biting his neck, biting his rear end, biting his legs and just chewing him to bits. And then that dog just let the bone go and just kind of um, very meekly went cowed off to a corner. And the other dogs kept on fighting for that dry bone. So the enjoyment within places like London, New York, Paris, wherever you go, it's like that dry bone. It's been chewed at for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of lives. But it's presenting so much glitter and people are going for it. But you have that sadhu who knows everything. He knows the temporary nature of material enjoyment. He knows that material enjoyment, it gives so much suffering. Uh, and he knows that the glitter is definitely not gold. And he comes and he points us to another direction that, oh, that actually your real home is there in Goloka Vrindavan. Your real home is in Vraj. And he's coming from that land and he's mercifully coming here uh, to take us back there. So we're very fortunate that such personalities like our Srila Prabhupada and also Srila Bhakti Dantan Raj, that they're coming uh, and they continue to come to just give us this real sweet nectar which really satisfies the soul. So, I will not um, continue to speak anymore, but I would just like to thank very much Shilnarai Maharaj for going through all of this austerity. One time he was asked in Birmingham, so why are you doing this? And he says, that, oh, I'm doing, this is my duty, leaving Vrindavan. But I dare say that it is not just because of duty, it is because his heart is overpouring with love. And because of that, regardless what anybody says, he's still coming again and again uh, to give us this very merciful harikata and to give us eligibility to enter into Vraj. So we just like to thank Shri Maharaj for coming again and again and to please um, always remember us.
आपके वेदांतिक महाराष्ट्र के टू वर्ड्स ऐसे सहपति हाउ वी कैन हैव द लोटस फीट ऑफ गुरुपाद पद्म एंड ऑल सन्यासी वैष्णव वृंद एंड ऑल मदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माई दंडवत प्रणाम सो आई एम वेरी हैप्पी सो आई एम वेरी लाकी सो हियर गुरुदेव इज कमिंग इन असेंबली सो इन दिस टाइम गुरुदेव कम इन होल वर्ल्ड ट्रैवल एंड कम इन एट लास्ट कम इन हियर एंड वी आर सो मेनी पर्सन डिवोटी सो एवरीबडी दे आर कमिंग सो वी आर वेरी लाकी श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु के 500 फाइव हंड्रेड इयर्स हू इज श्री कृष्ण हिमसेल्फ हू गेव प्योर डिवोशनल लव हू इज कमिंग फ्रॉम गोलक वृंदाव एंड एवरी इयर ही वर्क एंड ही गेव प्योर लव प्योर प्रेम एंड प्योर मैसेज श्री कृष्ण नाम होली नाम so many person many many devotees and all guru varg they are coming in india but so very rare who is coming outside first time we see shila bhakti vedanta swami prabhupad he is coming here and every year he was and he gave this pure message holy name प्लीज एवरीबडी इज शुड जान हरी नाम कृष्ण नाम देन बिकम हैप्पी एंड ही गेव मैसेज चैतन्य महाप्रभु हॉट टोल्ड हॉट आवर गोस्वामी इज टोल्ड सी गेव मैसेज इन सेकेंड टाइम होल वर्ल्ड सो आवर गुरुदेव ट्रैवल ट्रैवलिंग एंड एवरी इयर ही इज गिव हिम दिस मैसेज What is giving? He is coming, and every year walking whole world. So what is giving? We see, Sir Sam Prabhupad. He came. He met foundation, primary stage. Everybody they are chanting Hari Nam, and they are taking Hari Nam. They are coming slowly, slowly. But Guru Dev made our Guru Dev making bhakti mahal means building or bhakti. How can possible? How become bhakti? Pure devotional love, pure bhakti. Guru Dev wants everybody will be happy, everybody will be pure devotee. So many many rishis, many many sadhu. They are coming. We see Atri Chawan, Vasishtha Gautam Hari, Parasar Bias, Narad. So many persons coming before previous time. But in this time, so great person Rishi, he is traveling now, and every year gave him message. 
please everybody they will be happy when they left selfish desire selfish move when offer whole life to lord shri krishna then will be happy otherwise we have material desire material happiness then all is we are unhappy we forget lord shri krishna bhayam ditiya abhinivesa tasya ishat apitasya viparjayo smriti when we forget lord shri krishna then we are coming in this world and every year we are walking sometimes we are going water creatures sometimes we are coming animal birds trees creepers so many many things but we have most fortune so in this time we are coming in this human being so lord shri krishna gave our full knowledge mind all sense all full body house money and everything all family all happiness he gave but in this time we are very lucky no only family enjoy if we are trying for lord shri krishna who is lord shri krishna who is so who is eternal soul who am i where from come where will go who is thinking who has culture culture are man is best person good person no have culture then like animal life where have culture they are great person but so many person culture so many cultures have here but our guru dev give him so pure culture what is the theory of shrimad bhagavatam shrimad bhagavad gita our holy books what told this pure message so chanting this message and taking butter give him everybody so please we should take this water then we will be happy so chaitanya mahaprabhu is ke chaitanya mahaprabhu ke in this time he gave message in shrimad bhagavatam they are told tatva sudus taja sure sita rajya lakshmi dharmist arya vachasa jagad ranna mayam mrigam daite sita manna bhav bande maha purusha te charanar bindu who is taking sanyasastra who left his family his house and who take sanyasastra and everywhere he walk mayam mrigam daite sita manna bhav oh my dear where are you going in this family life they are have only desert area no no water no food they are will be die don't go in desert area he should come my near i am give him pure love pure happiness this message so we are getting every year so we are very lucky in this time in this college you this college you is golden age golden you who are so many persons ji they are coming in this college you sat treta dapar kali for you but other other you as people they are coming in this college you who is great person they worship lord shri krishna they are chanting hari na they worship him lord shri krishna they are serve him guru vaishnav and lord bhagwan shri krishna then they are going golok vrindavan so in this time shrimad bhagavatam vishnu pura bhavishya pura and other other shastra every year they are saying sri chaitanya mahaprabhu is coming in this